What you're seeing, few outsiders or cameras have ever been allowed to record. To many, this is a symbol of hatred. But the Ku Klux Klan claims it's a sacred religious ritual. That is a sacred symbol to us. It represents turning of darkness into light. In a field outside Cross Anchor, South Carolina, as members of the United Night Whites of the Ku Klux Klan light a cross, they hope to ignite a new era. Thou has revealed thyself and thy purpose. I don't want to see little white children, black children going to school together. Got a right to vote. We got a right to vote. This summer in Atlanta, as thousands of marchers celebrated the right to vote, civil rights advocates said big or small hate groups are dangerous. They may not throw the bomb, they may not pull the trigger, but they create the atmosphere and the climate for other people to throw the bomb or to pull the trigger. As surprising as this may be in 2005, so is the man in charge, the Imperial Grand Wizard, Joshua Fowler. Just 30 years old, he hadn't even been born during the groundbreaking civil rights battles of the 50s and 60s. We'd like to see prayer back in schools. You know, we live in a society today that's put sex education and condoms in school, but they've kicked the Ten Commandments out of school. We're swearing in clans people throughout the whole United States and there will be a revolution. Today's Ku Klux Klan doesn't have to meet in backwoods or somebody's basement. They have the internet, and this is one of their biggest ways of recruiting. Membership is based on sending in a picture of yourself. Jews and homosexuals need not apply. The way the internet really works is it allows people to go in, get a taste of these groups, maybe even begin to correspond a little bit by email with them. If they get even more interested, they can go onto the forums, or sometimes there are secret email groups, uh, and talk to people. And there's a lot of interest in these groups, especially in younger people. Mark Potok is director of the Intelligence Project, which monitors hate groups at the Southern Poverty Law Center in Montgomery, Alabama. Here in Georgia, where the KKK was reborn at Stone Mountain in 1915, and there have been many rallies, Potok says there are eight Klan chapters active today. He's worried about surveillance photos like these, showing Ku Klux Klan groups like Fowler's meeting with white supremacists, neo-Nazis, and others at an Aryan Nations rally in Alabama just two months ago. And this riot in Toledo, Ohio last month, where skinheads fought with young African Americans. And that really is worrying stuff for us because, you know, that indicates uh, a kind of coalescing of these groups, and that's what you worry about. And we have to stand up and say there's not any room in our country for hatred, for bigotry, or anti Semitism. While the Klansmen I talk to say they do not condone violence, the Southern Poverty Law Center says some members of their group did belong to a Klan that was shut down after the bombings of two black churches. The Southern Poverty Law Center estimates there are three to 5,000 Klan members in the United States today. Fred Power, CBS 46 News.